Welcome to lab three. We're going to learn all about using uh, strings, which is a variable to store lines of text. And we're going to use it in our program to ask and store the players' names and tell them which player's turn it's going to be. A string is a line of text. It's really bit pretty big, okay? Um, but it's very flexible. It can store all kinds of valuables. You know, it can store um, sentences. It can store um, even numbers. It can store all kinds of symbols, like quotation marks, dashes, that kind of thing. So we're going to include the string library next. So what we're going to do is we're going to include the, the string library. So come on up. It doesn't matter whether you put it in front of or before or after it. Same kind of format. Pound include with your brackets and then inside you just put in string. So now I'm going to declare um, some local variables here. So under my declare local variables, I click and I'm going to put in here uh, string player one. name. Under that line I'm going to go string player two name. Remember the semicolon at the end. Now I'm going to add code that's going to ask for and store the names of the player. So I'm going to come down to Oh, after this board eight here, add a couple lines, and I'm gonna get player names here. Under that line, I'm gonna tick uh, type C out, and we're gonna put quotation marks around player one. Please enter your name. In the brackets, and of course your end line. Okay, so what are we going to do now? Under that line, we're going to put a C in command that stores the user's input in the variable player one's name. So I'm going to, oops, what am I missing here? Yeah, I would have had some errors, wouldn't I? So we're going to go put a C in command here. Now um, they go the other way, don't they? So I'm going to put in what? So we're going to put player one name. And put the put the semicolon. So now what do I do? Of course I'm going to copy these. And I'm going to paste them on the next line. I'm going to change it to player two, right? Put that back. All right. So now we're going to run the debugger. Debug, debug, and start debugging. So once we've run the debugger, then we go debug, start without debugging. Player one, enter your name. Player two, enter your name. And then that's what should come up. So if that didn't come up, what do you do? that didn't come up, what you do is you check your code against their code. Make sure that you've copied and pasted exactly what they have in here. That you have your um, you have your brackets going the correct way for the C out and C ins. 
that you have your semicolons at the end of your commands, okay? Okay, here they're telling us that you can put any comment you want at the end of a line. All you have to do is put your two regular little lines there and write your comments. Now I'm going to declare, declare a couple of variables. My program needs to keep track of whose turn it is to move and where they want to go. Uh, this information is stored as an int variable. So now we're going to declare these. Okay, under string player 2, I'm going to call it, have a new one here. We'll come back up. Whoops. I call this one, uh, it, uh, okay, whose turn? And then that's going to be equal to 1. Okay, with my, um, and, but don't forget your semicolon. Now I'm going to put, put a comment at the end of this line. A couple of slashes to say it's a comment. So 1 means it's player 1's turn, 2 means it's player's 2 turn. So that's all you do. See, it's just a comment at the end of the line. Okay, the next thing we're going to look at is else statements. Else statements is just tells the computer what's going to happen when your if statement doesn't run. So if your if statement isn't running, you know, your else statement is going to come right after the um, ending, uh, right after the ending bracket in your if statement. So if this thing doesn't run, you know, then try this. That's what it's saying. Now here's an example of this. You have a statement, if this thing is equal to 1, then you say move is 2. Okay, so you're saying it's 2, right? So is it the same thing? Is 2 equal to 1? No. Else is the statement that happens. Move is equal to 1. So what happens? What runs? Move is equal to 1. So now we're going to add an if statement that's going to tell player 1 it's their turn if whose turn is, is identical to 1. If not, the else statement will tell player 2 is their turn. So I'm going to go under the lines show board and before the curly brace. I'm going to add a line and type the comment, tell which player to move. Under that, I'm going to type if whose turn is equal to 1. That's your double equals now. Now I'm going to put my curly brackets. And I'm going to type else. After the if statement, I type my else statement. With my two curly brackets. Inside the if statement, I'm going to put there we go, see out. Make sure they're going the right way. Player one. And then I'll put the quotation marks. It's your turn. End it with quotation marks. And then end line. Semicolon. And you do a, a, a C out also on your else statement, right? For the other guy. See out, dun, dun, player two. 
No, I just ought to copy it. Control C. Control V. And I'll just copy player two name. It's your turn. Next thing we're going to have to do is store the move. Your program is going to ask you, or it's going to ask the player where they want to move and store that in a variable. So we're going to add a C out and a C in command. Now we're going to put the statement in here, get the move. I'm going to type that C out command that's going to say, tell me where you want to go, right? Then, of course, you put your brackets and end line. And now we tell the to pull in the move, so I'll put in C in. Remember it goes the other way. We put in our variable move, the semicolon. Now I'm going to save my program. I'm going to run the debugger. So my build error tells my build code tells me I have an error. So let's look at the let's look at the program and see where that error is. If I pull this down here, this will tell me where it is. And let me see. Oh, it tells me um, move is an undeclared variable. Okay, that's easy. Let's look up here. Ah, we didn't. De we skipped a step. We didn't declare move. So I check my code with the example code. Sure enough, I don't have this line here that says integer move store where the player wants to move. So I'll just add it to the code. with this end comment. So now I'll debug it again. So now I'll run the start without debugging. And I'll put um, Lynn for player one, Joe for player two. Lynn, it's your turn. So um, there you go. That's what's supposed to do. So I put in three for the number I want to go. That's it. And we are done with lab three.